It's the book of Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well and teach well. Shalom to the hopefully like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. And shalom to a few aqua, the sisters that's getting in order and tuning in inside these last days. Brother Amawan, coming at your video, Lord, when it's edifying. You know, it's pretty much going to repenting, you know what I'm saying? Because just bringing out a, uh, a clip that I you know recently saw and you know, just warning the times, right? Because, you know, us as being watchmen, you know, we are to what? Um, be on the lookout of the uh, oncoming um, troubles, right? So we discern the times and we measure it up with the scriptures, man. You know, so we're telling our people it's high time to wake out of sleep, right? Because we see these things coming rapidly, man, right? 2024 will be... Man, it, I don't even know what to really call it right now because you know, uh, you know, the elder Tahar hasn't coined it yet. But if we know it's gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a real one, man. You know, so we're telling people to buckle up spiritually, All right? But son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give the warning from me, right? And the Lord speak through His servants, the prophets, right? So that's what we are here doing, giving the warning from Yahweh Shemayahusha, right? So I'm gonna tap into this video, and Lord, when it's edifying, right? That's what uh, concerns me most. 2024, what will it bring? I pray that it's nothing. I pray that this scene behind us from Leave the World Behind doesn't take place. But with all the predictive programming, with the world leaders moving as they are, with the mainstream media talking about it now, it just feels a little bit off. As always, I want to hear from you in the comments section. So exercise your First Amendment right and let me know if you agree or if you disagree. And if you like my content, hit the follow button, share the videos, save them, and I look forward to talking to you soon. All right, so kind. So that's when to bring out the video. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to go back into it as well. Right, but I just want to bring out the video just showing you the point, right, of how... You know, the cat is out the bag, man. We know 2024 is going to be a whirlwind, man. You know, and when the lady was saying, let me go back to it. It says 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. This is a national security event with high impact that's very hard to predict. And we know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull up the um black, black swan event definition, you know, because we know something's going to happen, right? It's too much. You know, it's, 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 it's too much in the air, man, right? We got all these migrants over here. You know, they telling you about how uh, non-citizens can be um, officers, right? It's so much stuff going on. You got the uh, the sea hip that's on the table, right? So we know something's finna pop off, man. You, food going going up, gas going down. You know, it's, it's so much going on, man. So we know, hey, <clears throat> it's, it's time to buckle up. Right, spiritually, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Right, um, I'll put up the black swan theory, and it says the black swan theory or theory or theory of the black swan events is a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise. Right, we already know that's how Esau moved, he come as a serpent. A serpent move what he's gonna surprise you, gonna shock the shit out you, right. And at the end of that clip, it was talking about all the uh, cyber attacks. Now, see, we already on guard. We the watchmen. We 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 know what we know what's, what's coming, right? We can't. We don't know what day, but we know it's coming. So we'll be more at ease with it, man. You know, but that's our job to warn warn the flock, man. 
right? Warn them that, hey, a dark day is coming physically and mentally, right? Spiritually, right? Um, It says, it says, a, a, uh, I start from the top. The black swan theory or theory of black swan events is a metaphor that describes an event that comes as a surprise, has a major effect, and is often inappropriately rationalized after the fact with the benefit of hindsight. Right. I'm going to go down some more. Right. Matter of fact, I want to speak on the point. It says and ha has a major effect. Right. And what, what we know is supposed to is, is supposed to come. Right. A capital N, capital W, capital O. Right. We know that's coming. Their agenda talking about the, the 20, 2030. Right. That's only if we want to start from this date, 2023, right to that time. That's seven years. You know. So between they want everything, if they want everything to be established. 2030, they mean to get the ball rolling now. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be a the NWO is, is new world, right? World order. So they mean to get the ball rolling now, man. So things finna train, things finna change drastically, especially for America, Babylon the Great, according to the Bible, right? Um, there's another one that says that a black swan is an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences, right? We know what's coming. We know Esau coming with that great wrath. You're not trying to bow down and, 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 um, fall in line with the, uh, his laws, right? We know it's, we know it's consequences behind that, man. You know, it reminds me that matter of fact, matter of fact, me saying that speak of, uh, uh, the three holy children, man, you know, in the book of Daniel chapter three, right? It was a decree, you know, it was unrighteous, but it was, a, it was a, a decree, right? And if they didn't, they ain't bow down to the system. Hey, it was a, it's a consequence, you know. Um, I think that was it. Matter of fact, here goes some more. I had yep. It says some some real life examples. The, the dot com crash during the rapid growth of the internet in the eighties and the nineties. I mean, internet companies were launched right the the end to the one one attacks, right? The twenty eight two thousand and eight global financial crisis. Right in the Brexit, Brexit, right. But that just you know just the point showing you, you know the Black Swan event, right. We know something is coming, right, because we know what has to come in order for us to get up out of here. We know these these last two major prophecies, right. Um, 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 well, you got Jacob's trouble, right. You have um, um the, the Karagma, and you have World War Three, right. Those those are those are um three major. They they're major, man. And they have to come forth, right. But in order for those things to you know come through, something has to pop it off. Right. So, you know, we just we just wanted to flock on that, man. Right. And I want to skip to the point. Well, I go back to. um, What the brother say, Cotton Schwab, when he was speaking. And I bring up some precepts, more precepts. Right. He said pay sufficient attention, attention. Insufficient. Hmm. All right, con. Well, I pressed the wrong button. Right of a cyber attack. Right. Matter of fact, let me get out, let me get out the, uh, the precepts, man. All right, because we know it's coming. Matter of fact, I just go to Habakkuk first. Right, because the visions is is they going they gonna pop off. Right, Habakkuk two verse three. I mean two verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he was saying to me. And what I shall answer when I when I am reproved, and the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. Right? Hearing hearing what the prophets has to say, right through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, right? Hearing the the, the the downfall that's coming, it should make you want to run, you know, run to get inside these precepts, man. Run and want to get closer to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for safety in these dark times, right? You have these elites, you right, these higher uppers telling you you should be man you better be on point right you got people like uh, uh was it elon musk or mark mark zuckerberg you know they, they get in the bunkers man you know they get they get prepared in in the corner way right but it's the time for us to begin prepared in the spiritual way man right because we know <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna grab and come back what's gonna keep us stable you know um Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation 
the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? He said you should be, matter of fact, go back to it. Right. And with that wisdom and knowledge, you'll be able to pay attention, you know, to the scenarios. You'll be able to be stable when this when shit hit the fan for real, man. Right. Um, Back in the book of Habakkuk. Can't forget it. Right. Back back in the book of Habakkuk. I want to get to the um point of verse three. Right. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? So th th these visions are going to come forth at an appointed time, a scheduled time, you know? And we know, like how it happened, you know, time and time again, we say, right, in, in 2019, right, how in a certain event happened to where it was, you know, it, it, it trickled down to all the states, man. You know, you had to have this in order to be at work or you had to have this protecting your face in order to go inside this establishment, you know? So all of these things, those are just like test runs and trial runs, man, right? But now it's coming to a point where, boom, you know, excuse me, when we know further down the line, it'll be, you know, we can't buy a little trade, but I'm just stating the point, right? These visions are for an appointed time, man, right? But things have to lead up until, to, to these major, to these major um events to pop off, right? But it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, right? So these things are going to come, come, come to pass, right? And we know about what? Evil times is coming. Right? I'm, I'm going to go back to the video and go pretty much to the end of it. When the man was speaking, right? And this picture right here, is, this, this is this is how society is going to change, man. Right? When when it ain't no more police out here, right? Shit didn't hit the fan. Got all these UN troops and all these other migrant troops. Hell just causing chaos. and go from this, right? To this. You look like a dead city out here, man. Right? But here goes the video with the man. That's what uh, concerns me most. 2024, what will it bring? I pray that it's nothing. I pray that... Matter of fact, let me go back to that thing with Cotton Swab. So I want to say, yep, it says July 8th, 2020. Right? And all of a sudden, you got movies like this is is is, is popping up on the screen, right? Uh, popping up. You know, in in the mix, leave the world behind. You know, um, um, I remember uh, Biden was talking about um, be prepared for a dark winter. You know, so and and we know that one didn't happen last year, man. Right, so it ain't no you know coincidence that one that one wouldn't happen this year. And they're already talking about movies like, with a cyber attack, man. Right. So like you said, you know, hey, we just we just stating the point, blowing the trumpet. Right. Letting you know, these hard times are getting bad times, getting real close. See, he in the wrong spirit anyway, because her, here, <clears throat> here, you know, um, 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 the um, Psalms, the head apostle, Elder Tahar, you know, the, the great millstone. All right, I'm not a um an account, but you know I do watch the doctrine, right? Um, we we waiting for things like this to happen, man, because we know the sooner this happens, the sooner we get inside one of those chariots, Lord willing, Abba Rakhza, right? We one of those elect men, you know. We know what's on the other side of this 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 test, man, because that's all it is at the end of the day, this test and this in this um story, you know, salvation, right? So the quicker that Esau come with this shit, man, we get we get up out of here, man, right? But the wrong spirit to be in is I hope none of this. Hell nah, man. It looks like he gonna work a work inside your days, man. Right? And we see it, we see it coming forth. Right? Let me see if I can grab it. I think it's Ezekiel 12 and 20. 25. Um I started at 21, right? It says, and the word of the Lord, Yahweh came unto me saying, son of man, 
what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? It says, tell, tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. Right. Every vision is going to come forth. Right. But we we know through discernment, we see <clears throat> that they're literally at hand. Right. Let me um, cue that up. Um, it says, for I am the Lord, how I will speak in. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass, right? Isaiah 55 and 11, right? My, his, his words will come back to him void. It says, it shall be no more prolonged, right? So we see the chains rolling, man. It says for, and, and it's like it. For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, I will, it's like, will I say the word and will perform it, say the Lord Yahweh, right? He said, for in your days, right? For in your time period, right? And we see inside this generation, yeah, the scriptures were written years ago, you know? But through the sermon, we see it's, it's coming, becoming um, in, into play now. For in your days, I will, I will, uh, for in your days, over Bay's house, no, it's like it. Yeah, for for in your days of rebellious house will I say the word and will perform it, right? We've seen we've seen these, these times coming, but let me keep reading on. It says again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off, right? People don't believe that these times are coming, you know. They want things to go back to uh, you know, our people today, they want things to go back to normal, or if something was to happen. Oh, it's not going to happen inside our lifetime. Pretty much, you know, trying to put your head by Shemir in the box, pretty much saying his word is not going to happen. You know, it says, therefore, say unto them, they say to the Lord, Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, say to the Lord, Yahweh. And we see these things happening right now, man. Right. So just going back to the point where, you know, he was like, he ho he hoped things go back to normal. Man, that, that, bo that, um, that boat has sailed, buddy. That, that's gone. Right. These gears is, are rolling. They in full motion now. You know, ain't no turning back. Right. And and, and like you said, inside this movie, um, cyber attack right across the country in the, in the movie Leader World Behind is showing you how how from the highest to the lowest, how it's going to impact certain areas. Right. And it's revelation of the method like the brother. Um, I'm going to bar was uh, bringing out, man, you know, and also um, speaking of that. Right. Because we know Esau used his movies to. um tell you about what's gonna happen you know going back to the movie is it white house down or olympus has fallen i think it's olympus has fallen right but in the movie i think yeah, olympus has fallen right on the screen it got to the point where it was a korean a korean dude or a chinese dude right but on the screen he had to deactivate the the uh the missiles right or it, or they would have, um, or they would have hit America. And how, to, how, same, same way you see this map right here, it had the whole America in red, man. Right, those missiles, right. And it, what that thing about Revelation was it nine and sixteen going to, um, those those missiles, those two hundred million missiles going to hit, um, you know, Babylon the Great, you know. So they showing you, right? Seeing the movie, it didn't happen, but we know it's going to happen, you know. But they just showing you, man. They just sliding it in there, sliding it in there on the slide. Right, let me finish this on up. This, I pray that it's nothing. I pray that this scene behind us from Leave the World Behind doesn't take place. But with all the predictive programming, with the world leaders moving as they are, with the mainstream media talking about it now, it just feels a little bit off. All right, niggas getting worried, man. And to, and the one that's not pay, and the one that's not paying attention, they should be even more worried, man. Right. These things are going to come. Right. A blackout can really happen at any given moment, you know. As always, I want to hear from you in the comment section. So exercise your first amendment right and let me know if you agree or if you disagree. And if you like my content, hit the follow button, share the videos, save them. And I look forward to talking to you soon. All right. So from there, 
I'm just going to dive inside the rest of my precepts that I had. Um, since I stated it earlier, um, I'm going to it, right? Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. And I'm going to grab verse 11 as well. Um, this is Isaiah 55 or 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, right? Seeking after Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. You able to get that armor, right? That spiritual armor, right? For these bad times that we finna approach, man, right? And, and, and seeking, right? You're gonna be able to find the men of the Lord on the corners, the highways and hedges, right? Prophesying, telling about what's going on, right? That's where you're getting your answers from, man. You know, we, we here to help, you know, to the Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Because we know at, at, at a given moment, things like a cyber attack can happen. And what? You won't have access to a brother, you know, to, to, to break down what's finna happen, you know, giving you comfort, you know. Right. Um, From there, I want to grab the uh, the book of uh, Sirach. Ecclesiastes 5. Verse seven, right? Like like clock like cotton swab said, man. You should be paying attention to these scenarios, man. You know these these things are not in front of your face for no reason, man. For no shits and giggles, right? It says, "Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly, right? For suddenly shall the wrath come forth." Then to go back to that on the um the uh on the black swan, which one was it? Mm. Things inside here. Well, it's still the point, right? But it says the black swan theory of the red black swan events is a metaphor that describes an event that come as a surprise, right? Suddenly, it's going to the same same word, right? But it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right? Because when Esau coming down with his wrath, this is coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Right? And, and, and it'll be a bad thing to be out here naked, man. Naked meaning you don't have no wisdom and knowledge to secure yourself, man. To cover yourself up from these times, man. Brace yourself. Right? It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? Um, from there, I want to go to the book of Ephesians. Um, <clears throat> and I'll close out with that. Damn. Right? Um, it's the book of Ephesians 5, verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, right? Redeeming the time to buy back, because the days are evil. Matter of fact, let me see if I can grab that inside the... Um... Excuse me, slack you. Through 16. I'm stuck at 16. I think it's the good news translation I had wanted to grab. Right, um, Ephesians 5 and 15 through 17. Um, in the good news translation, it says, So be careful how you live, right? Your wisdom and knowledge got to be circumspect, right? It says, um, So be careful how you live. Don't live like ignorant people, right? Ignorance not being ignorant is what? Not being aware about what's going on. And here you have it. we finna be in a blackout. Hell finna be times twenty. You know, crime finna be times twenty. You know, it'd be a sad thing to be out here stuck and, and stuck on stupid. It says don't live like ignorant people, but why but like wise people. Right, being circumspect, understanding what's going on, being prepared in the spirit. That's the way you want to be in. It says, make good use of every opportunity you have because these days are evil, right? And what's the opportunity? Building yourself up with your high by Shemiah was shy. Right? And I'm gonna grab that. Matter of fact, I grabbed that in the book of um Ephesians 6. 
It says, don't live, don't be fools then, but try to find out what the Lord wants you to do, right? Really, the point was in, ended in 16, you know, but hey, still kind. Don't be, don't be no fool. Don't sit here and wait to the last minute to and shit them popped off. Then all of a sudden, oh, you want to get this with not truth and understanding? Oh, brothers, uh, 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 can you help me? We we did right. The Lord has a hey, Lord has sealed sealed that deal, man. You know, because in the end of the day, right? All in all, right? We, we're telling you the grace period is closing as well, man. You know, because shit start hitting the fan, the grace period is closed. You know, so this is the time to be put on that whole armor. And I'm gonna close out with this. You know, because like I stated, it says um, in the end of it, it says sixteen. Make good use of every opportunity you have because the days are evil. Right? This is the time to be trying to build yourself up. You know, because in the time we got to use that, 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 that uh, armor, right? So let's read the book of Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of your how about you, man, that you may be able to stand against the wiles, right? The craftiness, right? Of the devil. Esau, Edom, he's coming down with that wrath, man, right? He got an agenda to, uh, to, to, to uh, push, right? And. We're not supposed to be in it, right? A part of his new agenda, right? But hey, we want to be ready for 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 the uh, persecution, the trials and tribulations, the great hour of temptation. We want to be ready for it all, right? So that's what it says about being, uh, getting, um, make the best out of every opportunity, right? Building yourself up, put on the whole armor because you're going to need it, man, right? But Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and to the point, you know. I'm gonna give all the glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Bye, Hashem, and Crocodile. Till next time, I say Shalom.